Hello everyone, my name is BDF018 and welcome back to Is It Worth It? The series in which I take the latest cars from Gran Turismo Sports and give them my honest review on their speed, handling, acceleration, braking and value for money. Today we review the latest car added to the game, added it in update 1.57, the 2020 Toyota GR Supra RZ. Let's get a bit of insight on this car then. So this is the fifth generation Supra, the first one being released in 1978. And this is the latest model, the Mark V, released in 2020. This car comes with a three liter turbocharged inline straight six engine, poking out 385 brake horsepower, tuned up 50 more from the last year's version of 335 brake horsepower. This car weighs in at 1530 kg, making it one and a half tons in weight. So fairly good weight for its class. And with all that brake horsepower, all them specs, this car comes in at a N400 category as it is below 400 brake horsepower at 385. So we're going to be doing all our regular tests, the 0 to 60 to 0, the 0 to 100 to 0, and the one lap around Dragon Lake Seaside. First of all then, Let's get in to the 0 to 60 to 0 challenge. So there we have it, all three tests have been completed for the GR Supra RZ, but how well did it do? Let's find out. Well, I gave the speed a 5 out of 10. This car's benchmarked at 155 miles an hour. It's good speed, average for its class, but I did expect a little bit better. But nonetheless, it is good when it's standard. Can be improved through upgrades though, very drastically. There are five engine upgrades for this Supra RZ. So this car could go up to about 200 miles an hour maybe, if you're lucky. Uh, next I gave the braking slightly poor, 4 out of 10, the lowest score for this car. It can't handle late braking with sports tyres that well, as shown by my final corner on the one lap speed and handling test. But a standard braking going into corners without late braking is pretty easy. It can be improved with racing tyres however, as it will stick to the track a little bit more. Acceleration is a 6 out of 10 from me, pretty standard for its class, 0 to 60 is in just over 4 seconds and 1 to 100 is in just over 10 seconds. 
This car's rather quick then for acceleration. Getting away from the line is pretty easy on this car, pretty quick on this car, pretty uh, pretty reactive, but it can be rather easily outpaced past 60 miles an hour, unfortunately. I'm a bit worried about how this car will handle in a long straight compared to say a Dodge Charger or a Ford Mustang. Any cars around the same category probably could outpace this car on a straight line. Handling is also a 6 out of 10 from me. It's decent. It can recover from errors with quick turning quite well. As shown on the last corner once again, the late braking did cause my car to go very wide, but the Supra RZ had some good technique in turning very quickly and getting its speed back up rather fast as well. Again, can be improved with the racing tyres heavily, although it does handle very well with Sports 2. So if you are doing a standard online race or offline race with Sports tyres, never fear, the car does handle pretty well. And I wouldn't worry about putting on racing tyres if you're doing a regular race. And lastly, the value. Now this is a bit of a tricky one. This is 100,000 credits for a car that isn't exactly the fastest of its class, but I gave it a 6 out of 10 nonetheless, because this car has various upgrades. And with the, with the racing tyres, with all the upgrades for the weight loss and for the engine, this car could be a track day icon. This, is, this will be a monster of a car when it's fully upgraded. So a 6 out of 10 for me, as standard, Probably a 4 or 5 out of 10. It's not exactly the greatest value for money when you buy it as standard and you don't do it up. But when it is upgraded, this car is absolutely monstrous. And that brings the overall score for the GR Supra RZ to... 27 out of 50. A decent score for a decent car. Just over half marks. Uh, not as good as, say, the Ford GT that I reviewed a few months ago, although I wasn't as good at reviewing then. So, 27 out of 50 for the GR Super RZ. I hope this review has helped you. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And check out my other two reviews on the Crown Athlete G Safety Car and the Ford GT 2017 if you're interested in that. And until then, I have been BDFO18. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.